So the run-up to Easter is boom time, of course, for the coffers of chocolate makers, or chocolatier, for those of us who are slightly more international. Uh, will the war on sugar mean that consumers will cut back, though, on their chocolate treats? According to the National Retail Federation in the U.S., consumers are expected to spend $2.6 billion on confectionery over Easter. A whopping 89% of Americans are expected to buy what they call candy, by far the most popular Easter purchase, of course. Well, with me now is Master Chocolatier, Marc Demarquette, who runs an independent company. Welcome to the programme. Thank you very much. So, of course, you got into chocolate making having had another career. Absolutely, yes. That's mm. right. And a lot of us do. A lot of us in the, in the craft industry would have been pastry chefs before or consultants Oh, before. I see. Now, define to me what it is that you mean by craft chocolate. Craft is where it is very different, where we have mm -hmm. high premium quality cocos. It isn't mass mm -hmm. produced. Very much, most of the cocoa beans wouldn't come from Ivory Coast to Ghana, so they're not subjected to the very low prices, but they're really subjected to the quality controls that you would have on the plantations. And, of course, the creativity. The creativity of a craftsman is very much artistic, uh, which you wouldn't be able to get as much with the, with the w bigger bands. I think we're going to get a shot of some of your creativity in a moment, Thank and you. we'll talk that through. But what about this issue of sugar? Now, of course, in mm. your dark chocolate, let's just go through what the ingredients yeah. are, because your view is the fewer the better. Absolutely. Good quality chocolate should be cocoa mass, cocoa butter, which is part of the, 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 the frag fabric of cocoa, and then a little bit of sugar, depending on the percentage. Yeah. Uh, and then th if it's milk chocolate, you'd have a little bit of milk powder in there as well. And a little bit more sugar in the milk chocolate? Uh, a little bit more milk, yes. However, you will also now get some fantastic milk chocolates that are in very high percentages with very low sugar. And these, again, are only made by the crafters and not by the big industrial companies because sugar is cheap. What about, you've mentioned using cocoa butter, but yep. not all chocolate makers use that? No, that's correct. Cocoa butter is expensive. Um, and it is also w one of the commodities that is sold to the beauty industry. So essentially, some of the bigger manufacturers will want to replace that oil and that fat with a cheaper substitute, and that would tend to be vegetable oil, otherwise known in many terms as palm oil. Right, so the, actually this entire industry is awash with et ethical issues. Sadly, yes. Having said that, we do have a huge change and a big wave that is pretty much very democratic all over the world by crafters who are actually saying, no, we do not want to buy from these particular sources. We want to know where the beans are coming from. We want to make sure that the planters are looked after. We want to make sure that it is a healthy and, and uh, an ethical and sustainable environment to source from and therefore to produce with. Now, looking at this market, I would say that it's getting quite crowded, but you disagree with me on that. I don't. It's, we're still very much in the embryonic stages. So, yes, if, I suppose, debatably, we could say it is crowded. But there is a huge market of consumers out there, and they want this provenance. They want something that is different. They want something that is exquisite. And at the end of the day, it is only through, through, through trial and error, and there will be some that will succeed majestically and others who will fail. Just very briefly, the peaks and troughs in terms of your sales, presumably Easter is a massive peak. And then... Easter, and then the next wave we're going to have, or big wave, will be Christmas. But in between, we'll have you know, various gifting opportunities, such as weddings, which will be during the summer. Uh, and then we'll also have all the giftings for school as well at the end mm. of terms. So, but really, Christmas yeah. right up until Easter is the big one. Mark, thank you very much. I will be giving of myself and tasting some of your uh, produce uh, very shortly. Thank you thank very you much. Thank you very much. David. Yes, thank you very much indeed. I want a one, uh, one word answer from Mark, actually. Is white chocolate chocolate? No. Thank you. Right. <gasps> that puts that one to bed.